Hey everyone, my name is Dean. I'm a technician in Anaban Security. In the year 2024, CCTV cameras are not out there just to provide us with simple footage. Using artificial intelligence, CCTV cameras will now process the image for us. Human and vehicle classification, on duty detection, license plate recognition, safety helmet color detection, smart tracking of people or cars, and smoke and fire detection. Anything we want is out there on the CCTV cameras now. Stay with us to learn how to configure AI on our CCTV systems together. To access the AI features of your NVR, log into the web interface and find the VCA settings under the configuration tab. TND equipment offer various AI features such as crowd detection that alerts when there are too many people in a specific area. On duty detection ensures workers don't leave for more than a set time. Safety helmet color detection and audio and video detection that will notify you if there's abnormal video or sound in front of the camera. Behavioral analysis will analyze your image based on behavior. At the same time, you can have up to eight rules. Heat map shows traffic related heat map not based on temperature. Tripwire alerts if a line is crossed. Double tripwire alerts if two lines are crossed. Perimeter detection monitors activity in an area. Object abandonment alerts if a suspicious package is left unattended. Missing object detection notifies if valuable objects are taken away. Loitering detection, running detection alerts for suspicious running. Parking detection disallows parking in specific areas and will send out notifications. Let's set the rules now. As an example, we will do a few AI behavioral analysis here. Let's start with the on duty detection. Let's enable the option, define the number of the people who are on duty, define the absence time and the sensitivity, then click on start to draw to create your area and hit the save button. As the second example, let's apply a missing object detection function. So enable the function, adjust the time and sensitivity, click draw detection area to define the area and hit the save button. Now let's set the face capture function together. So log into the camera directly, go to system settings under the configuration menu and set the camera to capture facial images because the camera can either do face capture or other AI rules at the same time. The camera will reboot. After the camera is back online, return to the capture facial images area and go to facial configuration menu. Enable detect faces and set the number of times each face should be captured. The camera will also ask you if you required the fastest capture or the best capture. By selecting the best capture, camera will capture multiple images of the person's face and will show the best one after a brief delay. Fastest capture will try to capture the first focused image of the person's face and show it to the user. You can view captured faces in real time by going to the live view section, clicking on the green button on the right side and selecting target information. Let's finish setting up our VCA rules by doing the schedule and linkage. So under schedule tab, you can set a schedule for the rules that you have defined. And under linkage area, you will be seeing multiple columns. So under common link, you will have the ability to link the triggered function to a buzzer built into the NVR, on-screen display of the camera, receive an email including a snapshot, full screen the camera's view, audio warnings, flashing lights, and etc. Under the second column, event output, you can link your alarm output to external devices like speakers, alarm panels, sirens, or strobe lights. Under the third column, link rec or link record, you can record the AI rule events that are happening on the camera. Make sure you link the selected channel over here to the related channel number because a channel can record other cameras images as well and the link snap column will store snapshots of the triggered channel on your hard drive and under the last column pdz linkage you can direct pdz cameras to a specific area when an ai rule is triggered on another camera
and make sure you visit our website and if you had any technical questions feel free to leave us a comment.